Hello! In this video, we will introduce the concept of rock compressibility. Rock compressibility as a concept is similar to that of squeezing a sponge. Sponges are highly porous media used for many applications, including washing dishes, due to their high capacity to store water. Pressure is applied to the wet sponge to reduce the pore volume and push the water out. The higher the pressure applied, the higher the reduction in the pore volume, resulting in more water coming out. Similarly, rocks are subjected to an overburden or compaction pressure that reduces their pore volume. If we analyze the system shown here, the pore is subjected to three types of pressures, one external and two internal. The external pressure is the overburden pressure, which increases with burial depth. The internal pressures include the fluid pressure, which is the pressure exerted by the fluid in the pore spaces, and the matrix pressure, which is the resistance to deformation of matrix material. In the reservoir, as we produce hydrocarbons or water, the fluid pressure decreases as the fluid leaves the reservoir. This reduction in fluid pressure leads to a reduction in pore volume and thus porosity. It is worth mentioning that in hydrocarbon production, through natural pressure depletion, the pressure difference does not lead to significant changes in pore volume and thus the effect of compressibility might be ignored in some cases. Rock compressibility can be defined as the relative change in pore volume with changes in compaction pressure in the reservoir. The general form of rock compressibility is shown here, where C is the rock compressibility, V is the volume, dV over dP is the change in volume over change in pressure. The subscript T indicates that the compressibility is calculated at a constant temperature, or isothermal, assuming a constant temperature in the reservoir. Moreover, the negative sign in the equation is to make the rock compressibility positive. This is because dV over dP is negative since increasing pressure reduces the volume. For more information, check out my textbook and booklet on reservoir rock properties along with my lecture notes, all provided in the description box down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.